in week number five and question number eight, it asks this question. Have you experienced any unusual or unexpected financial provisions or blessings in your life since you started this journey? If yes, what have they been? In just a few moments, I'd like you to share with the group if you've seen any ways that God has uniquely blessed you financially. I want to tell you one true story. A friend of mine is a pastor, and his church decided to use this little booklet. As they began to use the booklet, his mother called him one day. She was an elderly woman, 88 years old. She was a widow. She called him on the phone and she told him that she had stopped giving to God a number of years ago because she was on a fixed income. She just felt she couldn't afford it. But as they were going through the book, she realized that she wanted to honor God again. She wanted to put God first in her life. And though it was a bit scary for her because she wasn't sure how it was going to work out, when she got her check that particular month, the very first thing she did was she wrote a check to the Lord's work. Some interesting things happened that week that I'd like to share with you. The first thing that happened was the church called her and there was a prayer retreat coming up and there was normally a cost associated with the prayer retreat, but the church said that they wanted to underwrite her cost to go on that retreat. She was so encouraged that the church would do that and she just really saw that as God's blessing in her life. The next thing that happened is she went to the bank that week and she was gonna withdraw some cash and the bank teller said to her, isn't your birthday this week? And she said, well, yes, it is. They said, well, we talked about it as a staff today in our meeting, and we decided that in honor of your birthday, we want to give you a $100 cash gift. Now, I don't know about you, but I have never heard of a bank giving anyone money. But that woman was so encouraged that here came a blessing that really only God could get the credit for that blessing. And the third thing that happened, at the end of the week, she got a letter from a community foundation and they helped the elderly. And this community foundation wrote her and said, we have chosen you to be a recipient of our grant program. And this coming winter, we will pay all of your utility bills because you are on a fixed income. Aren't those amazing stories of God's grace? Here was a woman that was gripped by fear and was afraid to give and didn't give for many years. And then as she began to give to God, she saw God's blessing and God's help in her life. God is interested in meeting our needs. God is interested in honoring us when we honor Him. I would encourage you to always be faithful in your giving to God, whether you have little or whether you have much. Honor the Lord with what you have and then watch for His provisions, His care, His blessings in your life. And I'd like you right now to take a few moments and share with others how you've seen God at work in your life in this journey or in the past in ways that you know that God is the one that made the provision for you.